Hi everyone, my name is Meir Barak. Welcome to my live trading session recording where you will see me trade live. You will see my trades, you will see my PL, and you can learn just as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching my screens. So, welcome everyone, let's start the trading session. Well, welcome all of you traders, good to see you here. Those of you who are in our live trading room right over here and of course if you're joining from YouTube welcome everyone please don't forget to hit that like button for us let's have some fun the market opens up kind of flat S&P is flat Nasdaq is a little bit up 0.1 percent we had a big drop on Friday at the end of the trading session quite a big drop but the overall trend of the market is definitely up oh, you can see that uh, meta is very strong today it's up 2.2 percent should be a long candidate on the other side we've got uh, google which is very weak down 1.3 percent microsoft down 0.8 percent Rivian is up today one and a half percent but it came down very quickly caused the gap so normally a behavior like this should be a continuation to the downtrend actually now take a look at the daily of Rivian I did put it for on my long list but it's too extended to the upside way too expanded, extended so this could be a pullback day originally I was looking at it and I was thinking to myself well if it's going to continue moving higher I should be interested but there were always two options here one is to the upside a continuation and the second one is actually a pullback day and I would like to participate mm -hmm. if it's going to come down under 2480 we are opening flat this morning continuing watching Tesla really moving up this morning So I'm posting I'm going to take a Rivian for a possible short. Again, it's based on the daily. It's way too extended to the upside. Be careful size-wise. If you take a trade so early, it's about to trigger. Triggered, I'm short. It's relatively, relatively close stop loss, around 40 cents. Anyway, my quantity at the beginning of the trading session is low. Now the market did move up. S&P is now up 0.14. Nasdaq the same. I am interested in Microsoft for possible short. It's a beautiful technical formation under 33430, which is quite close. I'm going to short it soon. Now, trade first trade of the day. I'm short Microsoft. It's going to be I'm going the to post it. 78.80 coming into coin here long 78.80 coin Rivian just broke down under the lows I'm short Microsoft market direction is up but it's too early to say at this point it's too early Rivian actually touched my target which is around 40 cents but I was busy with Microsoft okay watch this EIP 33 when I get one point in Microsoft which is very close getting ready for a partial in Microsoft any sign for bull pullback I'll take my partial broke down the whole number good now took my partial in Microsoft nice trade mayor very nice thank you I want to go long meta over 289 sorry 298 
which is going to be very close to the highs. I believe that if it's going to move over 298, it's likely to move to a new high. I'm trying to figure out where my stop is going to be around one and a half point. Probably. Microsoft is doing very good. I'm a little bit concerned about taking short Google, though Google is also looking quite good on the daily. For short, of course. But it's kind of holding here. 117.75, possibly for short. Okay, watch Meta. Lower size for, for Meta, getting ready for a long over 298. Now I'm long, expecting a new high. Come on, Rivian, another 10 cents, and I'll let you go. I need to see it under 24.40. There we go. Getting ready for a partial. Now, took my partial in Rivian. One stop loss is going to be 78. Meta did not move to a new high, which makes me worried. Plus, if you watch, okay, Rivian. If you watch the Nasdaq, you can see that uh, it's leaving topping tails. And that's not a good sign. Stop in Meta is going to be under 296. Actually, I was planning 296.50. 296.50. I'm going to join you on the Bubba trade here, Jonathan. Bubba long 9056. I'll post it here in the room. Okay, SP is returning to the highs. That's over Friday's close. It's good for Meta. Should be good for Meta. But I'm not going to hold. It's going to come down under 29650. Google just failed to move higher, which is quite interesting. It's trying to come down again. I would like to short it under 117.80. Watching Bubba still in the coin trade. Google is going to be around 45 cents stop loss. Oh, Rivian. Covering some more Rivian here on this beautiful downside breakdown. About to short Google under 117.80. It's getting close. The market's moving up. Lowering my size due to the fact that the market's moving up in Google. It's close. Watch Bubba here, Tree. 9056 on Bubba, B A B A. Still on coin. Google is holding. I'm short Google. I'm adding very small size to Microsoft short right here on the pullback. Come on, Meta. Come on, Meta. Go back to the highs. Be nice. Just added small size to Microsoft. So, sorry. Yes, to Microsoft short, of course. 
Uh, Meta is back to the highs, good. Challenging the highs, at the highs actually. Come on, what's wrong with you? It's a beautiful technical formation, it should have spiked up over the highs. Still there, come on, now maybe. <laughs> 12 is the highs, it's not getting through, come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh, look at this bounce, crazy. What? One dollar bounce from the highs in no time. What happened? Nothing. Watch the breakout here on Bubba. I'm long Bubba, BABA. -B -A. Target's going to be closer to 91 on BABA. -B -A. And here comes coin. Watch coin. Again, our coin entry was 78.80. We're looking for a dollar here up to 79, just a little bit above. I don't really like what Google is doing here. Oh, come on. Meta is going to take me out soon under 296.50. Each is going to take some some off the table here on the um, on the coin trade. Again, once we get past that 7960 area, we're about 10 cents away here from this. Out of Meta? About 10 cents away. What a nasty behavior. In Meta. Wow, we got a straight down. Microsoft's looking good. Microsoft close to the lows. Come on, Baba. And Google is looking better too. Google is under the lows too. Eighty-nine fifty on Baba. If you need to have a stop loss on here. Beautiful move in Microsoft. About to cover. My edit some of my edit quantity very soon. The markets are still watching, coin. losing it, and not moving higher anymore. We've got a pullback. Beautiful, beautiful move in Microsoft. Getting ready to cover some more. Google is moving too. Now covered in Microsoft. Nasdaq is under the lows. We have a change of direction here. Wow, Meta. I'm going to take a trade here, 295. See if we can capture this to the ups. Meta, M E T A. Long 295. Uh, Tesla, too late. Too late. I haven't seen that. It looks great. Looked great. Now it's too extended. Yeah, I can see Amazon, Alexander. Tell you what, again, I've got a feeling it's too extended to the downside, although it's a beautiful breakdown, breakout, breakdown formation here. So it, it's just, in my opinion, too risky. It looks like it's going to continue. It's down 1.7%. I kind of considering shorting it under the lows, but I believe it's just a bit too risky. Hey, traders, here comes our Bubba trade. Those of you that are in Bubba with me, 90.56, which is right here. I'm looking for close to 91 on the trade. Also, coins starting to pop back now, and uh, we're about ready to come into the meta trade. Remember, meta 295. Yeah, I'm, Richard, good question on the uh, on the Bubba trade because we got to yesterday's close. We kind of filled the filled the gap, Richard, if you will, and and 90.56 wants to be a penny over the close. So, it kind of changed my mind here. We're going to get that 91. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, Google is moving. Good. Just reached my target. 
I was risking around 45 cents right over here and now I've got more than 45 cents any sign of a pullback I'm going to take my partial come on now took my partial in Google that was a nice side I didn't have much size but still is a nice trade Nasdaq keeps moving lower coin with a loss traders I have taken off the coin trade those of you that were in that with me 78.80 it has failed to the downside it's too bad no trade on meta I'm looking forward to coming into meta at some point in time here wow the way Amazon broke down let's go 294 meta I did not have the guts I've started the day red with a coin trade, but Bubba hopefully will make up for it. BABA. -B -A. Looking to possibly come into meta this morning. Nasdaq coming down very strong. The Nasdaq is down almost 0.3% by now. On the other hand, the SP is green, 0.1%, and it's not far from the highs. We should trust the S&P. S&P is what counts, Nasdaq doesn't. Well, in a bit. Shows us some kind of a direction, a possible direction of the market. But the S&P is holding to the highs. Now, the fact that the S&P is not already over the highs and the Nasdaq continues to come down, well, I'm more biased to the downside because of that. But if the S&P will move over the highs, and I don't think we're very far from that, I'll definitely look for longs. Boy, coin just sank right down to the bottom here. See if Meta makes a run here. I'm, I'm keying in on that 294. 294 on Meta. This is where I'm going to come out. Not going to take the 91 here. I'm going to take 9092 on Bubba and I'm going to come out of the trade. BA, BA, very nice move here. This has moved me back to green here after starting red. I'm out of the trade on Bubba. Very nice move here. We've got a nice run on this stock here. Now we just need Meta. Meta entry 294 on Meta. 294 Meta if we get it. I think Meta is just coming down because of the Nasdaq, Scott. I'm looking at the daily of Meta. It looks amazing. I mean, so strong. What an uptrend. I mean, classic uptrend. If you guys look at the daily of Meta, you'll see what I'm talking about. So normally it should continue, but of course it follows the market and keeps coming lower. But it still is in green territory. It's up 0.5%. So... If we're going to get some kind of a pullback from the Nasdaq, then Meta is likely to be one of the winners today. I am about to cover some more Google here. It's touching the one point mark. Very close to that now. Touching. And I look at Meta any sign for pullback. I'm going to cover some more. Nasdaq is accelerating lower and the S&P is starting to respond now. Covered some more Google here. Well, traders, just 22 minutes into the trading session today. And as you can see, I'm up $2,700 with my closed trades, but my open trades are up like $570. I've got uh, Google and Microsoft and Rivian. So the overall for me right now, just over 10, over, after 22 minutes is up just over three grand, which is great. I've got uh, three winners, one loser. And I think I've traded the way I should. I mean, I did add to some of my winners like uh, Microsoft. 
I did, I did short stocks which are likely to gap and go. As you can see, Google is down 2.5%. Microsoft is down 2.3%. Rivian was a bit different because Rivian was too extended to the upside. So I was looking for some kind of a pullback from the highs. It was on, on both of my lists, on my long list on, and on my short list. So the decision was actually to short it because it was coming down. You can see it started with a gap up and it started coming down and continue the continue and continue the trend so not a bad start for me just 22 minutes i want to thank you very much for watching this video if you are in youtube please hit that like button please remember i do broadcast each and every day sharing my pnl in my live trading room in youtube where you can join for free again thank you very much for joining there's plenty of links right below this video and i'll see you in my trading room bye bye